Hi, my name is Sean. I am a pin setter mechanic. I'm certified to work on Brunswick A, A2, and Jetback pin setters. Today, we're going to be working on adjustment number nine, which is the gearbox clutch lever adjustment. The, uh, the book makes this so much more complicated than it actually needs to be. Um, two, the tools you'll need, it's two half inch wrenches. And uh, when you do that, you want to make sure that your jam nuts under here, uh, your jam nuts loose, backed off plenty. Okay, this should not have changed from your previous adjustment, number eight, when we go through and did the uh, follower adjustment. Now with this, this is going to be the one and only adjustment where, this is going to be one of the only adjustments I tell you where it's okay to not have this uh, unplugged and the breaker off because this adjustment does need to be done down there. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cycle this and I will go from there. Okay, so the reason why we cycled it is right here, your crank link, what I do is no matter what style you have, whether you have the straight style or you have the style that uh, goes up a little bit more, um, see if I can find one with that style real quick. This style. So whether you have one with this style, which you know goes up, this one you can see definitely could use a little bit of the adjustment. Um, regardless of what style of crank link rod ends you have, the adjustment is virtually the same. Basically, all you want to do is you want to get this crank link to be centered with this uh, with this bolt here for your. The adjustment's virtually the same for both of them, regardless of what style you have. Basically, you just want your crank link to be level with this Allen head bolt right here. If you get that, then you're good to go. So, think, and then you always wanna make sure that when you're doing this, this is completely off both switches, and you wanna make sure that your hands are clear of anything that will be turning mainly your tension pulley here and your clutch. You get. Okay, after you adjust it a couple turns, go ahead, turn it on, cycle it again, see what it's gonna do. That needs to be moved more. So make sure you wait for everything to be done running. The other thing you want to uh, also know before you, one of the things you want to know before you do this adjustment is when you go counterclockwise, that's going to bring, that's going to bring your crank link up. If you go clockwise, it's going to bring it down. So with this, we're going to need to go uh, counterclockwise and that should bring it up. money so that's about what it should look like like I said regardless of what the style is because 
you got to think that if this crank link centered here then everything else should be pretty damn well in their place too so that's what it should look like now what we'll do is turn it off and then this is where we want to shut the breaker off and unplug it Okay, so then you go ahead, tighten up your jam nut while making sure that we keep the other one in place. And that's it. That is your, uh, that's your clutch lever adjustment. Um, so this is, a, it's a very important adjustment and you know, if it's too high, it will over travel and keep going. So then that's when you just make sure you tighten it up a little bit. Um, so then, and then, yeah, just remember, uh, you're going to tighten or go clockwise to lower it. And you're gonna go counterclockwise or loosen it to bring it up and that's it very simple adjustment so if you have any questions please let me know and if not i will see you in the next video for the next adjustment see you